Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 11th of 2023. Well, it is titled sunspots on an active sun. So what do we see here? Well, these are the sunspots for the first six months of this year. Now there's duplicates here. Note that you're tracking the sunspots across. So as you look from right to left, you will see the same patterns appear again and again. And that is as the sunspot slowly moved across the face of the sun. So you can see that individual pattern here. However, we've also see are seeing far more sunspots than typical. So that means we are approaching a maximum. And in fact, our maximum is scheduled to occur in 2025. The sunspots come and go with about an 11 year cycle. And that's not uh, perfect. There are some slight variations to that. Sometimes it can be a couple of years more or a couple of years less. But it's a pretty much averages out to about every 11 years we reach a peak in the solar activity. And here we can see the sunspots here. And in fact, last month we had more sunspots in, the, in that in, in that month than we had during our previous cycle. So in, in the entire cycle, even at its peak, we'd saw more sunspots just this last month than in any month at the peak of the previous cycle. Now that's also true. Each peak is different. So sometimes the peak of a cycle is very low with not too many sunspots. Other times it is extremely high. So there is a lot of variation here with the sunspots. Now, when we look at the sunspots, we see that they occur uh, in certain regions around the sun. We don't see them very close to the poles and we don't see them close to the equator. However, as the cycle begins and we approach maximum, the sunspots will be further away from the equator. And as we end the cycle, they will end up closer to the equator. So they tend to move not the same sunspots, but the sunspots that are appearing in that point, new sunspots will continually appear closer and closer to the equator. Never actually getting there. You don't really get sunspots at the equator uh, and you don't get them much further north than what we're seeing here. So they tend to be confined to the middle portions of the sun. What is a sunspot? Well, sunspots are actually regions on the sun that are slightly cooler than the surrounding area. Surface temp and temperature of our sun is about 5800 Kelvin. The sunspots are maybe a couple thousand degrees cooler than that. So they're really still very hot thousands of degrees, but they are cooler than the surrounding area and therefore look a little bit darker. They are caused when the sun's magnetic field breaks through and concentrated magnetic field fields then inhibit the flow of energy cooling off these specific regions. The sun's magnetic field is believed to be the cause of all the solar activity that we see, including the sunspots. And as it tangles up more and more because of the sun's rotation, eventually it kind of snaps and then the whole cycle starts over again with the magnetic field flipping and north uh, magnetic pole becomes south and south becomes north. That also happens on Earth, but happens much more regularly on the sun. So here we get to see a very active sun showing the sunspots for the first six months of this year with lots more sunspots expected over the next couple of years. So that was our picture of the day for July 11th of 2023. It was titled sunspots on an active sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be star bar with rings. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.